Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over hinges for frame analysis. Now for more videos covering engineering problems or FE exam questions, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Also, make sure you watch until the end because I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your test. So a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video on this problem and I determined if the frame is stable and stable determinate or indeterminate. Now, a lot of you has asked me to clarify how I calculated how many hinges we have in this frame. So that's what I'm going to go over here. Now, if you want to watch the whole problem, I will leave the link above there in case you want to check it out. If we need to calculate how many hinges we have for frame analysis, this is what you need to keep in mind. So if we have a hinge that is on a member, we count C as one. So for example, if we take a look at these, this one is on one member, right? This one is on one member, this one as well. If I put one here as well, that would be counted as one. So when you have this case, you count C as one. Now let's take a look at the second case, which is the one that can be a little bit tricky. Now, if you have a hinge that is connecting three members, like this one, it's on three members, you don't count it as C is equal to three, because technically this is on this member, on this member, and this member, but we don't count it as three. And that's because here we have three moment equations, right? And if those two moment equations are satisfied, automatically the third moment equation is satisfied as well. So the hinge has only two independent equations, and that is why we calculate C to be two. Now, I hope this makes more sense than the previous video. Now, take this information and go ahead and go back to the problem and try to apply it. You can also apply it to the problem that is on the practice exam and see if you're going to get the right answer. I would also recommend that you guys add these notes to your cheat sheet so that way you remember it for your test. I already talked about the importance of having a cheat sheet. If you haven't checked that video yet, I will leave the link above there. If you guys want some practice problems or some cheat sheets, you can visit my website, enter your email address, and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.